So, there must be one reason why you clicked on this video, right? It has to be because you want to learn how to animate. Maybe you watched a JBug video, or Notive, or Oblivious HD. There is one thing common in all of their videos, and it's that they all use one plugin called Moon Animator Suite. If you want to become a successful animator, make sure to like and subscribe. Make sure to have some experience with Roblox Studio, or just have it installed. And make sure to download Moon Animator within Roblox Studio, which you can find in the description down below. Oh, and this is only for PC users. I apologize to my mobile homies out there. Anyways, let's get started. When you are logged in, make sure to choose either the base plate or the classic base plate. Either one is fine. When everything loads, head to the top and choose the plugins tab. This is where you will find the godly masterpiece. Before we begin animating, use the character inserter to load in your character. And please don't use already pros load character plugin. The moon animator package is way better. Remove anything you don't like from your character. Go ahead and open moon animator. To make things easier, I will remove the theme of my moon animator UI, just to make things easier on your eyes. Go ahead and open file, then click new animation. Title your animation, obviously. Click the plus sign and then highlight your character. Make sure rig and C-frame are checked. Once you are here, you can now move your character's body parts and do whatever the hell you want. I ask you to please pause this video then come back when you are done messing around with your character. Well, what do you think? Interesting right? You may be wondering what these tiny blue shapes are for. These are called cave aims, which make up each movement of your character. For example, if I move my character's arm in any position it will create a cave aim. If I play my animation, it will play until the cave aim is reached, which is also when my arm has finished moving. Neat, right? You do not just need one cave aim, though. Multiple cave aiming is better and will quite possibly make the animation faster, smoother, or both. Here's another example. When you are done with your animation and you are happy with the results, please make sure to save it. You can do this by going to files and hitting the save animation, then close. But that will only save the animation while Roblox Studio is running. If you close the entire app without saving your place or game, all your progress will be lost, including the wonderful animation you created. So make sure to go to file in the top left corner and publish your game to Roblox. Don't worry, it will be private when saved, so no one will basically know about it. There are all sorts of things to learn about within Moon Animator and its features, but we will be discussing about them in the next videos, so do not worry about it. Unless you feel like messing with them which is fine, because that's part of learning. Or, you can take a good look at these tutorials if you want a head start, which is okay as well. Thank you for watching. Be sure to let me know if you are having any difficulties or issues in the comment section below, and I'll try to reply as soon as possible.